Hi, I'm Paul Switzer with the Urban Butterfly Initiative, and I'm going to explain to you how easy it is to submit butterfly photos to the iNaturalist app. iNaturalist is an amazing app that will help identify the creatures that you find out in nature at the same time that you're contributing to a worldwide scientific database. The first step to submitting a butterfly photo to iNaturalist is finding a butterfly. And to find a butterfly, you have to go to where the butterflies are. So you need to visit places like flower gardens, or you can look along unmowed roadsides. Or if you're in the Charleston, Illinois area, you can visit one of the butterfly hotspots that the Urban Butterfly Initiative has helped create, like this one here at Lake Charleston, or you could go to the city library or other places around town. Once you find a butterfly, like here's a black swallowtail, you need to sneak up on it slowly and down low. They can't hear very well, but they can sense movement. So when you see one, start taking pictures from far away, and then slowly get closer, taking pictures as you go, trying to get right up on top of it. You can always crop later, and there's another butterfly too. Once you have a photo of a butterfly, you can use the photo app on your phone to crop down on just the butterfly itself. And that'll make it easier for iNaturalist to know what the subject of your observation is. And once you have that cropped image, you're ready for the next step, which is submitting the butterfly to iNaturalist. Download the free iNaturalist app to your phone and sign up for an account. You can also use a computer and go to their website, iNaturalist.org. Signing up just takes a minute. Um, keep in mind that you can also take photos with an actual camera and submit them to iNaturalist using their website. Their web browser has more functionality than a phone as well. Um, but I'm gonna be using the phone app because it's super easy. Open up the iNaturalist app. I'll be showing how it works on an iPhone, but the process is pretty similar on an Android. Choose Observe or plus sign on an Android and then go to your photo library and choose the pictures that you want to use for an individual observation. You can choose multiple pictures if they have multiple pictures of the same individual. If you have different individuals, those should be different observations. Once you've got them selected, add them to create an observation page. Okay, and you see there's a number of different fields here. This top one, the what did you see, is what will help you identify it. So you can click on that field, and iNaturalist will start thinking about it using its amazing image recognition capabilities to figure out what you saw. And here are its options. So if you're not quite sure what it is, you can just use this, we're pretty sure this is in field. Um, but if you know specifically, you can look down at the top choices it has. And in this case, I know it's a black swallowtail, so I'll choose black swallowtail. You can see that there's other fields here too, one of which is the location. I have the location services turned on for my camera on my phone, which makes it um, really easy because it just puts the GPS coordinates with the photo. You can also, if you don't have that turned on on your phone, you can also use a Google image type interface to choose the particular location. Then, once you've got all that set up, you share the observation and you've created an observation on iNaturalist. And that's all there is to it. So keep in mind that you can use iNaturalist to help you identify other things that you find in nature. Wild animals, plants, fungi, all sorts of things. So good luck and have fun.